my innovative project is an autonomous sensor. It can perform the work without human intervention. Our project is the Elaborate Noise Solution. We should make a robot to be the helper of the caregiver and friend with the elder.我们要更多的创造一个想象力it's like challenge, kind of challenge thing. So you just, you know, build your own robot with your own intelligence and code with your own intelligence and like try it and like, you know, I consider it as a sport because like it's an intelligent sport and I found it really interesting. Yeah. Ever since my sixth grade, I've been into this robot challenge thing. I'm really grateful to be here. It's one of the most uh, magnificent competition I have ever uh, competed uh, in, in it. Um, I saw a lot of nations participating in this competition. The, we are so proud to participate in this year also, uh, so, and uh, for next year. It's help my students more abilities than the sporting, the science, Computer and you know, all of the things that go This is the thing that we want to follow on top and work. So it will help us a lot, all the experiences that we gain from this. It helps me like pursue my dreams. It helps me uh, show that I can actually do something and it proves it by having many people from different world from different countries and making me participate with many top challenging opponents and getting to push myself to my limits. Back in 2008 or 2009, I've been participating as one of um, part of a crew of a team that was building robots, and uh, I fell in love with, uh, with the subject. At the same time, we have a TV channel uh, in, uh, in Europe called Discovery Channel, and they were showing different combat robotics and so on, and uh, that sparked my interest. And together with uh, me being exposed to this kind of competitions, this is how I, I got started. You need to solve uh, in creative way different challenges for uh, different competitions and uh, usually the one that uh, win this kind of competition is because they, they bring something new to the table or they solve some specific challenges in a new way. For me, Robo Challenge is one of the biggest competition in the world and as a goal personally is to challenge our robots and myself uh, alongside different team members from different countries and basically see which robot is the best. We won a couple of prizes, so that's always great. And I like uh, the energy, I like the vibe, I like uh, the effort that organizers put into this event. And from my point of view, it's one of the best organized events in the world. Yeah. So which is like this is the first time that we participate in this competition. So first thing is I want the students to feel the experience and also enjoy the whole process of it. So that's very important for us. And of course like we also aim for uh, winning definitely. So uh, winning will be a bonus. 
But definitely for our students, uh, the main thing is I want them to really enjoy the game. First of all, I want to thank my teachers, my coach, and my parents for helping me in this competition. And also my school, I think this competition is really great to build self-confidence and it can improve your knowledge about uh, robotics. There is a lot of type of robot, there are a lot of type of coding that I want to learn. I want to learn all of it. Трудности появлялись, потому что это очень большой проект, и связывать все между собой было достаточно сложно. Также одной из сложностей является транспортировка всего из России сюда. Мы, получается, решаем проблему переработки и утилизации мусора, которая в нашей стране достаточно актуальна. Также транспортация может повторно использовать переработанные материалы. Участвуем в соревнованиях в России, то есть у нас ежегодно проходит много разных соревнований. На Robot Challenge мы приехали впервые. Масштаб Robot Challenge достаточно большой. Много участников из разных стран. Это очень круто. Полезно, но мы увидели конкурентов, то есть конкуренция здесь достаточно высокая. Робототехника в современной жизни очень важна. С каждым годом все больше и больше роботов внедряется в нашу бытовую, даже обычную жизнь. Поэтому придет года, когда роботы станут абсолютно повсеместными. Мы видели, что в Китае даже уже в магазинах роботы следуют товар. И с каждым годом все больше и больше роботизации будет в нашем мире. Мы на это надеемся. Мы в том числе приложим для этого усилия. We are a systematic team. We are from Bucharest, Romania. We are the University of uh, Science of and Technology Politechnica Bucharest. And uh, we represent the Faculty of Industrial Engineering and Robotics. This helps us by uh, improving our critical uh, thinking, uh, thinking outside the box creating stuff uh, and also developing the skills in areas we even knew we might have needed. So, for example, the 3D printing, 3D modeling, stuff like that. I think that introducing AI in competitions is a very great thing since it's very based on machine learning and it's a very difficult task. So it takes a lot of time to be reproduced, to be done, We developed uh, two types of mini sumo robots and we have high expectation of them. We expect from us to win at the exhibition too. We have five robots, so hopefully you will see what is coming from us. Today I learned a very important lesson. Uh, you should always bring uh, with you some replacement parts because mine today broke and uh, I hope it will work properly. Hello, Chano. I'm from Mongolia. I'm a robot robot. I'm a 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 robot
it gave me my key to my future and secondly it also gifted me my friends and brothers in arms. Since our club had practiced for this competition we were um, strongly uh, confident about winning and making our parents at home out. It was a long journey and we expected us to be like winners, obviously, because we practiced over and over again. So yeah, we expected a lot higher. We came here to get medal and we did get the medal. So we are really great and satisfied. This medal helps us for like college applications and also we do this and get um, knowledge from it so it's really helpful for us to do robotics. As we practice for this we gain a lot of knowledge such as um, how robotics works and also a lot of technologies and it will really help us in the future because our future is getting more futuristic and more development here, so yeah.